he won the title from Tracy Patterson. He looked he looked superb. I mean, he boxed he boxed great. You know, he fought a great fight. Wilson Rodriguez fight is what started the legend. Gotti getting a little boxing lesson here in round one. He got dropped in the second round. Gotti goes down on a short left hook inside. Both eyes swollen shot. Go back to the corner. The doctor's talking about stopping the fight, holding up fingers, seeing if he could still see. And Gotti's got a huge mouth under his left eye. Yeah, of course I got scared. I had ordered a car that I couldn't afford back then. And uh, when I went down, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> there goes the car. <laughs> he comes back out. Tide has turned. Tide has turned. Here comes Gotti. Toro chased him around the ring and wound up knocking him out. Hey, down goes Rodriguez. What a left hook. That was like fight of the year. It was just amazing. You'll never see better drama for a young prospect on his way to superstar. I think that's when everybody got to see, wow, this is a kid that just doesn't quit. And now enters Arturo Gatti. The Royals fight, awesome fight. The ultimate comeback. Oh, Art shot by Ruelas. That is hurt bad. Gatti stumbles. Ruelas is uh, the only fight I would say that hurt, really hurt me, like physically. Oh, good Battle shot. of uppercuts, both men landing. They were going toe to toe, and, and it looked like Ruelas hurt him. Arturo's knees buckled, and the fight could have went anyway. And all of a sudden, Arturo lands this thunderous left hook. In one shot, the fight was over. A gentleman stood up right by our corner and said, That kid is the most exciting TV fighter ever. Can you believe Arturo Gatti? Arturo Gatti. <laughs> oh, what a drama. That's who I am, you know, and I always say I'm an animal. Uh, you know, guys like me don't come around too often, you know, I'm, uh, I'm different from a lot of guys. You're not going to see for a long time someone like me. I fight to the end, and uh, I can take just as much I can give. People love the fact that he would go out there and get cut, you know what I mean, and, and swollen and score a late round knockout. And that's, that's what it became. Floyd Mayweather Jr. fought left-handers, he fought tall guys, he fought punchers, he fought boxers, and he really was exposed at a very early pro age to a bunch of different styles. And because of that, Floyd was able to adapt to anything in the ring. Floyd is the kind of boxer that you appreciate if you like the Muhammad Ali pretty style, a lot of fanciness surrounding the fight with the chinchillas and the minks and then goes in the ring and takes care of business. Brilliant, clean, hard shots for Pretty Boy Floyd. He's always risen to the occasion, and his best fights, uh, his most difficult fights have been his best fights. I'll step up to the plate. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And I've been climbing that ladder for a long time. Thanks, Let's go to work. Floyd Mayweather went out there and took apart Gennaro Hernandez. Floyd showed the boxing skills that really people talked about when they said he's going to be the next Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> he made Hernandez fight when he didn't want to fight, and he just had the fight from a tactical standpoint. He was moving at the shoulders, moving at the waist, and he just presented a very elusive target to Hernandez. Hernandez could never mount an attack against him. The undefeated WBC Super featherweight champion of the world, Floyd May. When he fought Diego Corrales, the thought was, well, he's in there with a big banger, a much bigger guy, he's going to have a lot of trouble. He destroyed Diego Corrales. He destroyed him. He had just completely dominated the guy. Fifth knockdown of the fight, fifth knockdown of Corrales' career. Corrales is not even on the same level as me, as a fighter. First into the ring, Jose Luis Castillo. He stood in there twice with Jose Castillo who has tons of knockouts. He took the best that Castillo had to offer. Now, this is a hardened professional veteran championship level fighter. There's no question that Floyd gets up for the big fights. I mean, he's a guy that because he has such an ego, I think a lot of it is fueled by ego. Some of the guys I beat, they mentally he mentally messed up to this day. That's why he wants to fight the Jose Luis Casillos, the Diego Corrales, and now the Arturo Gattis. You can mark my word to this. I'll be the only fighter that, that's won four world titles in four different weight classes in under 10 years. That haven't been enough.
Gaddy went through a little bit of a, of a down stage where he did lose three fights in a row. The first fight of that uh, series of losses was against Angel Man Freddy. Down goes Gaddy on a perfect left hook. And Ivan Robinson's first fight was the fight of the year. You know, back and forth action for 10 rounds. Just an incredible uh, high, high pace, you know, fast fight. The crowd loved it. Huge ninth round for Ivan Robinson trying to finish Arturo Gaddy off. And it was so good that a few months later they did it again. Ivan Robinson, a great fighter. It's a hard style for me to fight against, but those were uh, the years of my, uh, and I was, I was going nuts those years. His father told him years ago when he was growing up is, listen, you know, you, you can't be a fighter and a rock star. You got to be one or the other. You can't live both, both lives. I was making money. I was going out, you know, it's just having a good time. You can't achieve or you can't perform the way you're supposed to. The Man Freddy fight, the two Robinson fights, it was three, three losses in a, in a row there, and he was, he was not doing the right thing in the gym. But it was a rough time for all of us, it really was. Oscar De La Hoya may dare to be great, Arturo Gatti has dared to be brave. He was going to get a nice payday to fight Oscar De La Hoya, and you know, thanks for the memories, thanks for everything you've given all of us, and you know, goodbye. Tremendous combination by De La Hoya. Got he hanging in, but how much more of this can Arturo take? I remember covering that fight and being in Las Vegas and the talk in the press room and around uh, all the boxing people was, you know, this is, this is Gotti's bouquet for giving us so many great fights. Take your $1.8 million payday. Hope he doesn't get hurt. And the, the towel, towel comes in from Gotti's corner, and De La Hoya has a fifth round TKO. Put on a great show and walk off into the sunset. He never felt that way. He knew he had a lot more to give. He then wanted to make changes. Don't come up with the jab. Stay right there, jab right from there. Pop, pop. To find Buddy McGirt at that point in his career was like something sent from God. I said to him, you can do one of two things. When you leave the gym, you can go back to your hotel and worry about having bruises on your face, or you can go play golf because you're not getting hit in the gym. And he said, well, I want to play golf. I said, all right, so let's get in there and move that head and work on certain things. Add the hook now. Right. I knew he had to change his lifestyle. If he was going to change his lifestyle and start putting 100% into the training part of it and the physical part of it, then I knew he'd be okay. Arturo always said, once I fight somebody just like myself in the ring, man, it's going to be a hell of a war in some fight. And he met that match in Mickey Ward. Arturo Gatti refusing to go down as Mickey Ward pounds away. Vicious body shots by Gatti. Ward nods as if to say, come on. Should be around in the century. He had the perfect foil in, in, in Mickey Ward.